Today's development session is something that we do at the start of every year, you know, but often a lot of it is about giving information to people, you know, here's a new process for this, here's, this is what's going to happen during the course of the year, here are our priorities, and we've done it in a completely different way using service design, because in many ways we're allowing the staff to set the priorities through using the service design methodology and actually questioning all the things that we're doing. So it's a bottom-up approach and it's a completely different approach. We've had about 400 staff in here today, you know, thoroughly engaged with the activities and I know I can sense from the energy in the room and I can sense from the discussions that I've been having that they're enjoying it, they're enjoying the new techniques, you know. I'm Mike Press, I'm one of the two directors of Open Change. Today's been remarkable because we've taken 400 people who work at Dundee and Angus College and we've taken them through this process of service design. We've posed key questions about the future of their college, about retention, about recruitment, communications, the environment, a range of other questions. And in addressing those questions, we've introduced them to a range of service design methods. So my name is Kathleen Cura and I work for the Learning Engagement team. Part of my role with students is to go in different courses, different departments. For me, when, when we develop um, tools and resources that we can use with students, I think the journey mapping will be a really good one where I can take it into a class and, and get a student to give opinions on inductions, opinions on how they feel college is working, how their course is working, and then we can use that and it's really visual that they can work on in a group so that encourages teamwork and also communication. So I think it will be a really good task that I can take into the classes and use. The interview sessions this afternoon was very insightful, talking to a couple of students. Um, overall, really good, very positive, and I think everybody got a lot out of it today. So. I teach uh, professional cookery and uh, hospitality. We did how to communicate internally the use of signs when different parties come in. For example, I have to be a guest or visitor to the college and there was other people doing from a student perspective and also a staff perspective. It was very interesting from that aspect how to actually what the different individuals see and the reasons for coming not only just from a student but from a business aspect as well. helping people experiment with technology they wouldn't usually use and next week um, I'll be thinking about how to make those things more accessible for people to use in their learning. What's been astonishing I think is just the reaction on Twitter. You know, we've, we've been trending today, big style, you know, and everybody has really taken part in that. You know, we've got a lot of stuff up there, we've got you know, a lot of hits, a lot of different hashtags, and I think everybody's enjoyed that whole business of showing off what we're doing, you know, and actually trying to make a statement out there that we are doing something different and we're doing something that's fresh and new. The first session I attended in the morning, we were having a look at Twitter um, and how we can use that with our students and I think that that's going to be a great tool for us to use to market all of the different initiatives that are going on within our team and within the college as well. I've liked the vibe of today, it's been really chilled out and I've actually really enjoyed using social media while we've been doing our little tasks and challenges and stuff and, and I'm definitely going to use my Twitter account to sort of tweet things about student services and the things that we do and sort of link in with my with my kind of academic colleagues. I really enjoyed the empathy this morning, the empathy class, and gives a good insight about trying to imagine yourself in the uh, students' shoes, especially when you have the one-to-one -one chats with them and all this, and trying to emphasize with them their problems, their, their uh, struggle. I think this will help a lot, you know what I mean, in common uh, sessions that we'll have with the students. Um, what I've taken away from today is that there's a culture at the Dundee and Angus College that does embrace taking on some new ideas and a new methodology so it was actually really fun people got involved and did stuff it wasn't difficult to get them to sit down in groups and actually really get stuck in doing things so I, th I think it's, it was 
really fun doing it because of that. We're on a journey from good to great and we're trying very hard to hit the right buttons, you know, to make sure that we're really making the improvements where we need to make them. So to have the evidence coming in from our users, to have the combined intelligence of the staff working on that and coming up with ideas, it's just exactly what we need right now. We're really excited about the potential of service design, you know, and we can really see the opportunities that it opens up. The way that it gets people talking, the way that it gets them thinking, the way it gets them recording the ideas is all absolutely terrific for us. You know. One of the useful things to take away would have been the journey planning. So we can actually use that with the students uh, rather than us having to guess how they're feeling about a situation. We can actually get them to tell us how they feel about a situation. We had a look at journey mapping, which I really thoroughly enjoyed, and I think it would be um, a fantastic tool to use um, to gain feedback from uh, students who obviously are the users of our service, um, as well as using it, for example, in staff meetings, um, so we can get everyone's point of view, uh, different perspectives, etc. So um, I really enjoyed that part. today was I wanted some kind of action plan. That hasn't happened and that was a good thing because what it's done is it's actually changed my perceptions and the way that I think about things rather than looking for the solution on the day. Solutions are best found by bringing us all together. It's so important for us to put the student at the centre of the services that we design and the solutions that we, we develop. Today I really enjoyed seeing academic staff and support staff come together as one, trying to solve the main issues for the college, hoping to take them forward. Next week, going to smile at all our students that are coming in. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thanks, everybody. Next week I think I'll be trying out some more digital storytelling, taking that forward uh, with my team. Next week, I'm looking forward to catching up with my team. We've all taken part in different sessions, so just see what the feedback was. Being pushed outside what I thought they were my limits is always positive, professionally speaking, but overall it's a very positive experience. Thank you. We're in the process of a review of almost everything that we're doing. And service design is a terrific way for opening up those questions, to talk to the users of the services and get their input into what we do and how we do it. And we think it's going to help us really, really transform what we're doing. I've enjoyed organising it all and seeing people participating today and I really look forward to taking it forward again. Just this is the first step. Basically the staff have come up with a range of different ideas and insights and propositions that they could develop much further. So really, we're just at a starting point where people have been opened up to the ideas, the methods, the perspectives of service design. And I think it's given them an appetite to learn more and apply it in transforming Dundee and Angus College from good to great. <laughs>